Right, so while your grenade's outside drying, you wait for the mix to cool down, uh, you might need to make a fuse, if you've forgotten like I did. So, um, the things you'll need are about, I don't know, a bunch of matches, 20 maybe, something like that, 20 or 30. You need a little tub, or container, with a bit of water in it. You'll need some wool, regular wool. String, probably not so good because it tends to be like plasticky, but this is just wool. And this is going to be your actual fuse, so you need to cut some off there, fair length, however much fuse you want to make. So uh, obviously you, you want the fuse to be quite long, you need plenty of time to leg it. Run away from the explosion, yeah. Um, and then you'll need, ideally, pliers. Pliers are what you need. Uh, you just give them a squeeze on the end of the match and then take the sulfur or phosphorus off it and put it in the water. But I don't have pliers at the moment, so I'm using a hammer, which is not the safest way to do things. Um, That's why we've seen the goggles come back. Yeah, just the other day I was doing this and I singed all the hair on the back of my left hand and made a girlish scream. Um, do you want to show us the girlish scream? Not really, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. Not again. We'll ask Liz how it you, sounded later. You may see one in a little bit anyway if things don't go according to plan. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. Fingers singed. Um, so basically, I'm going to get some matches. Hey, when are you going to empty some of that water out? That's a good question. Right, so... Do a bit of a tap. Make sure you get the ends. You should see it all flaking off. Now when you've done that, you could pretty much just take the rest off with your fingers. You just leave the match without any on. So you've got all the match head and the match stick separately. If you're doing this with pink matches, you will have pink fingers by the end of this. So the risk here, obviously, is that the hammer's going to spark and then it'll light. Well, it's not so much of a problem when you're just doing that, because it's like quick hits, I suppose, on an entire match. But in a few seconds, what you need to be doing is crushing it all up into a small little powder so it can be dissolved more easily in the water, like this. Which, as you can imagine, the friction makes it quite likely to ignite. So it's not my favourite thing, not my favourite part of this. I'm trying to keep any wood bits out of there. Um, one good way of doing it, actually, is to get a piece of paper, put it all there in the centre. That's an expensive piece of paper. One pound thirty nine p from the card factory. Wow. Fold in half and then half again. And it's all there. And you get it all into the corner. If you can. It's been a bit stubborn because it's a bit wet. And then you should be more free to do this. And if it sparks then it's probably not going to be such a danger to you. Because there's a layer of paper. Which it won't burn through in that half a second probably. You may split the paper, but you can get plenty more of that probably. I've got £1.39 a piece of time. No, that's a good point. Basically, as long as it's crushed down, if it's still in fairly large chunks, it doesn't matter too much, just get it in the water. And, uh, just repeat that process about another six times. Just until you've used all of that big bunch of matches. Yeah, or as, as much as it takes really to turn the water into a sort of a uh, thicker substance. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this now, which won't be very interesting, so I'll see you in a bit. So in a moment we'll have a here's one I made just there moment. Right, so I've mixed a bunch of match heads in with the water and it's gone kind of into a sort of a paste sort of thing. Still a bit runny but that's fine. Um, just stay there with the match. There's all the dead ones. So that's how many you've used? Dead soldiers. Quite a few matches. One or two. 
and you get the wool that I cut earlier and uh, just stick it in and then again get a match and stir it around until there is no white or whatever colour wool you've used left it sometimes takes a while perhaps we should have used red wool as an extra effect for the red smoke grenade <laughs> don't think it'll make that much difference it burns a bit quick Lee. Right, so it's mostly nice manly pink. No. Just wipe up any that's left in the bottom with this string, wool, and uh, then take it out. So that that's basically it. That, that's a fuse. That's done. a fuse done. That doesn't take too long. No, the hard part is all that matches. And then I get a little peg. Hook onto it and stick it over the edge of something. Like that, and then leave it to dry like that. Hello. Right. So um, the mix has been out for about an hour and hour and a little bit. Uh, so we should be able to take the stick out quite easily now, just spin it around if not. Should leave a hole, which you can see there. So uh, we put it in. Cut it off at a reasonable height, which I guess is about there. I'd have thought a bit more to be honest. Nah. Okay. Safety second. And when that's in there, we're going to use a little bit of cotton wool, not too much. Otherwise you'll probably put it out. Just around there, just to keep it from going anywhere. So now that's that kind of doesn't move as much. Right. And uh, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, I don't have any black tape, but that works quite well. Or green tape if you want it to look like a hand grenade. So I'm just gonna wrap it with white. That's just regular masking tape, sort of stuff. Yeah. It's just masking tape. Yeah. And then the top bit, if you go slightly over. Fold it. Go over the top, you can fold it in, and then when it all starts burning, that should hold it in place a little bit better. As long as there's still a gap there for the uh, fire in the air to get in and out. Well, that's basically it. Don't don't do the bottom because it might need to get out of there as well. That is essentially. So we're gonna try it. Grenade. Yeah, why should we try it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Stand back just in case. Please don't go out. Yes, this don't might be anticlimax. Or it might not be. I'm gonna be standing right in the way. It smells like sparkles. Yeah, it smells a lot. And there's a lot of smoke. As you can see, or can't see, that, that's smoking a lot. Sort of uh, blowing itself to pieces actually. Oh! <laughs> it's like a little okay now. Yeah! Oh. So um, there we have it. What do you think of that? Quite impressed. It was, the smoke wasn't coloured. No, it wasn't, was it? No, that was kind of a waste. But I suppose certain colours work better than others. It's pretty good, though.